Peace and love, guys. Okay. I have a scroller box and it's March 1st. What? This I know this is February's and I shouldn't be excited, but I am because it doesn't usually come this fast. I'm so excited. I am opening this up. This is happening. I also got my sketch box. So yeah, we're gonna do both. And I'm putting them out. I'm putting them out. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm opening it. And yeah, I have not taken any of the addresses off. Nothing, none of that. None of it. Ain't nobody got time for that. You just gotta open things. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm taking that out. Taking that out. And the box goes bye bye because we don't. There's a scroll zine. I'm going to put that to the side. I've been dying to get my hand on this art because this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I just, I, it's gorgeous. This is going somewhere where I can see it. And the artist is um, Katie Smith. There's all of her information. Thank you, Katie Smith. You're awesome. Your art is just simply um, mesmerizing. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Moving on. Uh, first thing we have is Claire Fontaine Cold Pressed 300 GSM, 140 pound watercolor paper. There are 10 sheets in here. It is A5 size. And it says 5.8 by 8.3. Pretty. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to rip out the page only because every time I rip out the page, it doesn't end well for the top of the page. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to take my little sticker that I love keeping. And I'm going to put it in my eraser box. I'll stick it in later. And we're going to open it up. And we're going to look at all the goodies. Okay. Between the wreath is the wreath is the um, prompt for this month. There's the pretty little sticker. And oh, yeah. Fizzy rolls. I might eat that later. Not right now. Okay. Yeah, so this is all that came in this month's box, and I'm okay with that. Like, I'm for it. I know that um, it's been on my wish list. This little piece of painting perfection has been on my wish list for about, oof, I want to say over a year. I'm going to say over a year, but I'm not 100%. I know that uh, the Frugal Crafter um did a review on these and when she did a review on them i was like i'm putting that on my wish list i'm not getting it because it just it, it just wasn't logical to get something like this but months later year later something like that scroller box has delivered literally <laughs> okay so we're gonna open it up we're gonna play with them. Oh, it would help if I told you what these were. Okay, these are Derwent Pastel Shades um, Paint Pan Set. There it is right there. And it says, these gouache style pigmented paints are uniquely soft and light formulated pastel shades. These gentle colors are perfect for romantic washes and dreamy blends, but they can also be layered for, brighter, um, for a brighter finish. Without dissolving any previously dried layers, this means you can build up your thick, opaque layers and create more dramatic, bright, and matte finishes. Okay, so the possibilities with the palette are endless. This compact set contains 12 pastel paints. I was just checking the lavender. Um, Uncle Frog Face got two um, cornflower blues. 
which I'm not even mad at because cornflower blue is pretty, but I would have, I would have kind of been upset if I didn't have a lavender. Okay, so yeah, this is awesome. We know what a jelly roll is. It's a size eight. I would have rather a size ten, to be honest with you, in a jelly roll. Those are um, the jelly rolls that um, give you the better um, coverage on a page, you know. So. I will use it. I will try to use it, but there's no um, promises. Now, yeah, I wanted to see if these were like gonna fall out. They seem like they're a little. Let me see. I'm gonna just take these out because you can, and I just wanna see. Yeah, like you see, they're not really in there, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, I am going to fill this up with water. And we're gonna see what we got. I'm gonna spray these guys because it helps to get those guys nice and moist before you start using them. If you just wait to, to wet them before, right before you're um, gonna do your, your art, it just it's not gonna give the same effect, especially when. Um, the effect that you're supposed to be getting from these paints are more of um, a gouache type type of um, effect. All right, now let's see. Can I post it? It's not a. It's not posting. Okay, you stay there, and I'm gonna put this here. Now, the colors that we get are lemon, peach, coral pink. Pink flamingo, orchard pink, lavender, cauliflower blue, uh, cornflower blue. I'm sorry, turquoise, mint, artichoke, storm gray, and silver blue. I'm gonna put them um the way the colors are here, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna switch this over like like that. So let's get into it. Ooh, oh my gosh, do you see that? Do you see that creaminess? Oh my god. All right, that's creamy. <laughs> that's so creamy. Oh, I didn't even activate my brush. I was so excited. Oh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. My paintbrush is like super. Um... There we go. Activated like it never happened. And I have a piece of paper here, not clean, but shh, don't talk about it back to what i was doing because i got caught up i'm gonna lay it on really really thick oh my gosh you're so pretty oh my gosh so pretty so pretty so pretty now i'm gonna just give it a little next is the peach oh my gosh i have to every time Every time I'm just gonna show you just how creamy that brown point is. You see that? It's it's like not focusing. Focus. Oh my gosh, so creamy. Focus. I think the paintbrush is ruining the moment. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the last time I'm gonna do that. Maybe. I don't know. I can't promise cannot promise oh my gosh these are so like i'm on a no buy it is march i have been heavy on the window shopping i'm not even gonna lie i've been heavy on the window shopping my wish list has probably doubled in size since um the beginning of january um and getting these subscription boxes are the only like new supplies that i get so the fact that i got a supply that i i've been wanting for over a year i want to say over a year oh this is a cute little color isn't it let's get some water in there and get you flowing oh these colors are very pretty yeah, so being that this is a supply that I really, really, really been wanting for quite some time, it just, it, it just, it makes the pot even sweeter. You know what I mean? 
on top of like in my wish list the price for this right now is about a little over 28 us dollars um i'm sorry a little over 27 us dollars so um the scroller box uh depending on which tier you get you're paying gosh i don't even remember it's i've been i've been doing scroller box for three years now oh my gosh anyway um so it it basically pays for itself with the paint palette like and i wanted it it pays for itself with the paint palette and i wanted it and i got paper with it i got some cold press paper with it is the texture as much as i wanted no it could have been a little bit more textured but it's um i think it's like cellulose it's not even cotton so it's okay it's okay let's check out that lavender come on girl i love the smell of lavender i love this color don't know why i told you about me loving the smell of lavender but there you go i do i love the smell of lavender it's just delicious not edible delicious just smells great okay these colors are just gorgeous i love how thick you can get them Ooh, i didn't clean that completely and I'm noticing that they dry up pretty fast, so I have to next time maybe put a little bit more water instead of just giving it a little spray. I'm probably gonna have to like put like a nice consider like a very hefty drop. Yeah, because this is it's too thin. It's not as thick as that yellow, and I'm I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, maybe maybe the yellow is the thicker of them. I doubt it, but let's see. Oh, that blue is pretty. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna go. Now this turquoise. Mm. You know mama likes blue. I got two really pretty blues and this turquoise. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at you. Oh my. Oh, ay Dios mío. How about that? Got me speaking Spanish. With um, January's box being those really pretty Karen brush pens that I've been eyeballing, but I definitely do not need any more paint pens because I have enough Poscas, but it was fun to get in the box as well. With that, on top of this box with paints that I've been wanting for over a year. You know what? If I'm disappointed next box, I'll be okay. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I'll be okay with that. Don't disappoint me, scroller box, please. But if if they give me something that I'm like, eh, okay. If they give me oil paint, I might cry. <laughs> but if it's anything else, nope, that's not true. If it's oil pastel, I might cry too. But um, oh my god. I don't like this color. This color is not my friend. No. Mm -mm. I don't like that. That has to be my least favorite color. No. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Oh, I missed one. Hold on. I missed one. Let's do the right one. Let's do... This one's Storm Gray. That, that one is Artichoke. Blech. No. Maybe if I lighten it up, maybe I'll like it. That that that's not a nice color. I like this color though. I'm okay with this. You need a a darker tone with these light colors. So I'm not I'm not angry with that. Okay. And then oh, this one is silver blue. Oh my gosh, three blues. Yes, three different shades of blue. I like blue. Did I tell that? Did I mention that before? That that is a color that I fancy. Oh, um, fun tip: you just to clean your your watercolor um travel brush. 
these are travel brushes they're not like precious don't treat them precious but take care of them you know clean them off when you're done so you want to just squeeze some water out onto the tip of your paintbrush and then you just give it a little swirl on your paper towel or back and forth on the sponge that's provided here and this sponge believe it or not comes in handy i'm going to show you my travel um this is my travel paint set from koi and i make use of that let's get this jelly roll it, the pink is, seems like it's ready to receive i'm gonna zoom in a little bit sorry and i'm gonna go eh. It's not, or maybe it is, and I just need to activate this. Okay, it's it's activated. You can't really tell because, okay. There we go. See? We got it activated. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, we got it activated. So now let's... See, that's what I was worried about. I'm going to wait until this is like completely dry, maybe like the next day kind of dry, and see if I can produce better results. Now, I'm going to have to get back to you with what I'm going to do as far as art is concerned with this. So I'm going to take a break and I'll be back. Okay, so first I start with a border around the page and i'm gonna draw like a mermaid coming down like plopping down in between the reef and then i'm gonna put a whole bunch of sea creatures in there and um on the top of the page is gonna be like the water you know the uh, light coming from the water kind of look yeah okay so um it's another day and I have a sketch out here, but I am going to take like little liberties and add more stuff if I want to add more stuff. Uh, I'm going to lightly erase it with my kneaded eraser. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you this, so I'll show you this here. I ended up looking for a size 10 jelly roll uh, to see if that one did any better than the size 8, and it didn't. So what I ended up doing was going and getting my... My uniball signal. This, this is just oh sorry, this is this is the joint. It really is. It's just awesome. Those are these lines right here. Right here, right here. They're just much better lines. So I'll either use that or I honestly might even use my Posca. I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm just gonna lightly erase things. At this point, I honestly, I'm toying with doing some line work, but in all fairness, there's no, um, it didn't come with a liner. So I feel like that would be cheating, maybe, possibly. What do you think? All right, no, no, no. I'm going to just leave it as is. I didn't prep my water, so I'm going to do that now. Get my pipe mat. Now these paints, I recommend you getting them prepped before you start painting. You'll just get a, a nice creamier consistency and being that these are supposed to be used like you're um, using gouache, then, right? I would think so. I just moved my water over here. Um, I'm gonna tape this down and then come back okay all taped down and ready to go so I first start out with the, the water and just covering the whole sheet with blue to represent the water and then from the top I go from the lightest to the darkest all the way to the bottom I let that dry and then I go in and I start coloring in my um, seaweed and my coral and all that stuff um 
I mixed some of the colors to get a little bit of a darker, uh, you know, shade on the turtle. And this, um, the water brush pen, I, I tell you this, I, w <laughs> I don't like it, but I used it because that was what was provided. But I ended up at one point just emptying out the entire um, barrel so that there was no water in it and using it like that because at certain points I wanted the paint to be, you know, a nice thick consistency. But because of the water brush and the style of the water brush, more water was just coming down and making the paint lighter than I wanted it. So I just like, I got fed up and I'm like, I'm just taking all the water out. And that's what I did. I, I, I took all the water out. Um, I used a, like four, three or four different references for the, um, for the picture. And in one reference, there was like this really beautiful, like cliff kind of looking thing in the four, in the, um, in the background. So I decided that I wanted that look in my um in my picture so that's what that um thing in the back is supposed to be i don't know if it looks good but it gets better <laughs> just bear bear with me and sorry again about the uh sun and i start drawing in my coral and then um in one of the reference pictures there were like these really pretty purplish pinkish fish so I tried to get those in my picture as well. I really missed out on drawing a seahorse and I really wanted to, but I just, it like, it just left my mind and I didn't do a seahorse. Kind of sad. <laughs> I would have liked to put a seahorse in there. Um, I ended up going to like, I don't know, the cliff. I wanted it to be like dark underneath and then lighter on top. But, I don't know. Then I tried to um, do like an effect of the, the light shining through from the top of the, um, the water and coming down. Not sure if, you know, I got that. And then um, with the jelly roll, um, not the jelly roll, with the signal, I go in and I do my lines and then I kind of use the water pen to just bring it down a little bit because um, the lines were a little, just a little too harsh and that worked. I liked it. I try to make a nice border around with um, some blue paint. It looks good. Let's take the tape off. Let's see the whole thing. And I didn't use a liner and yeah, I, I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. It's very light. I definitely, maybe, maybe not even a black line or like a fun color to um, add to this little um, mix here. But um, the white, I mean, it served its purpose, it did. So, I mean, I can't even get mad at it now because I used it, but not the exact one. I will definitely keep this in my little um, jelly roll arsenal because it does come in handy. It just doesn't come in handy for this piece, in my opinion. It's just how I feel. Um, so, um, yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.